Okay, I'm about to turn onto Lakewood Boulevard here from US 41. Take the second the right onto Lakewood Boulevard. To the right, we actually have rather blue lights, but they're like on a business. I don't know, I think they're, they don't look like defective lights at least. Um, taking it right here into Lakewood Boulevard, going uh, approximately. Continue on Lakewood Boulevard for one mile. I want to see if there are any special lights here. I don't see any, I don't, I do not see any purple lights on US 41, nor in the neighboring neighborhood south of it, like that I just went past up to this point, um, coming from the southeast. Every one of those lights is non-purple, at least on the edge that we can see. There's a wall though. Okay, so to my left, I see some like cycling colored kinds of lights in people's yards. One of them is Maybe not cycling and it's very violet blue, but I'm gonna take this road for a while. Up to, uh, I think Davis. Or somewhere near Davis, at least. I can't quite remember the route that this takes, but it's kind of a little bit of a convoluted route. Um, if I remember right, it, can connect to uh, Barn Road or something like that. I don't remember that correctly. If this is the one. All right, so I keep looking around. I don't see any. There actually really aren't any street lights to the left here. This is actually bare, rather bare of street lights. Just the like the shorter kind of lights. Every once in a while. see if there are any purple street lights or anything or maybe mercury vapor rich lights around here and I don't see it so. <clears throat> you know, actually there isn't just one path to get there but I think I was originally Keep going north to connect up to Davis or Barnes Road or whatever it was. But just looking at the southeast end of Naples again for a moment, um, just driving a, like a short stretch of that on US 41, um, it, those lights are really yellow. Like, I think they're yellower than they were before, the LED lights that are on US-41. I don't know what would cause them to become yellower, but and I might be wrong, but they're very yellow. Yeah, so far I see exactly the pattern now that I, there isn't one kind of pattern that would have to exist, but because the lights could be in different places and then um, the other lights could be put in other places to do the same thing, right? Um, I don't know how many permutations there are, but there's no way it's accidental, guys. There's no way. And it's not just here either. And recently I found some lights up in Punta Gorda um, just off of I-75 on Jones Loop, right by where Taylor Road connects to, to um, Jones Loop Road um, at a uh, pilot travel center in Punta Gorda. Um, they have lights that look yellow, but if you look at the ground underneath them, it looks purpler. They're not the only lights there, though. There are other lights that are brighter, that are higher up than them. Or maybe, I don't know if they're higher. I think they might be higher up. I'm not sure. Um, they're not the only lights there. Some are just white lights. In 600 um, feet, turn right onto Evergreen Lake Road. But the actual lights that look yellow, they're not yellow. They're, they're defective. And the LEDs only show their, like, the defectivity rays, basically the... Take the next right onto Evergreen Lake Road, then turn left onto Kings Lake Boulevard. They shine in like a focal kind of, basically a beam on the ground. 
So you don't know that they're defective until you get close to them. Otherwise, they just look yellow. Which isn't very helpful to like trying to make the point that other lights... Take the next left onto Kings Lake Boulevard. Other lights are not defective just because they don't look like it when you're driving by. Uh, but I'm just reporting what I found. And I made some videos of it. They're still right where the... They're in that same kind of area you would expect them to be. Like Taylor Road and Jones Loop by Interstate 75, you know? And they're hard to see. It's easy to miss them. It's easy for a person to be like, well, I don't see anything. In 600 feet, turn left onto Royal Lane. Take the next left onto Royal Lane, then turn left onto Buckingham Lane. But every bit that I show that the lights aren't here um, just helps to make my case more because that's a green light, by the way. I just drove past. These other lights aren't green. Take the next left onto Buckingham Lane. I'm not really sure what that looks like on the map, but. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Kings Lake Boulevard. But what the utility of those lights is, is really kind of, it's really weird guys that they put them in la these large neighborhoods at, you know, not large, but the put them in whole neighborhoods at the southeast end of Naples. But it's like maybe the yellow LEDs are show the actual focal point of what it's highlighting, right? Like on Jacaronda Boulevard up in Venice, same kind of thing happens. Like where you have purple lights occasionally or at certain points on the right and the left, but the actual lights are, the LED Take the lights next are left onto Kings Lake Boulevard. That are on the road. But why do those areas need to be marked? Like, what's the reason? Is that really for a satellite? Can a satellite actually tell that? Because there's no light after that at the edge of Naples. So, wouldn't know that, guys? Why, need, why would there need to be color there, you know? Is it for something? Continue on Kings Lake Boulevard for half a mile. Is it for something that could go to any place, anywhere, though? And still uh, hone in on, like, the certain kinds of areas it would need to go? For navigation? What would that be? I guess those satellites, they orbit, right? Um, I don't know. But they should just look, be able to see the pattern. For something that's in the air, though, I don't know, maybe that's different, right? Something that's not going in a predictable pattern at a, a large distance should be able to know what's what, right? I would think. I mean, I'm not gonna say that having colored lights won't help, may, wouldn't make it easier for it to focus in on something and maybe focus on something else, but. In 800 feet, your destination will be on the left. Some of them don't look like they're really landmarks. They just look like together they help create a boundary. It seems to be more about traffic. Like if they all got hit, traffic would have a real hard time evacuating. In fact, some of them are just at one intersection and then another intersection and another intersection when they could just be at one corner of the town, like just one little area, right? They don't have to be at each intersection. Your destination is on the left. Okay, so to the right, Okay, I saw a stoplight to the right and no special lights. Um, I didn't see which road that is, but which road is this? This is... Knights, uh, Knights Court. Okay, um, I don't think... Actually... So I know there, there are not any special lights at the point that I wanted to check. 
but I will follow this in a loop all the way back down to US 41 if I can do that actually though. I think that's that's pretty simple, but actually it's maybe it's not really simple, but I think I basically have to keep taking it right here. But if it's for satellites to just find like um, like a region, you know, an approximate region, um, because of how bulky that is at the southeast end of Naples, at least, I would just think, and some areas have it at intersections, like each intersection. There is something kind of weird about it. And I mean, if you think about, though, if it's just to watch areas, though, like, there are plenty of areas where people could go from one place to another inside the city, and it shouldn't, I just don't see how that really is, is the way to do it. I just don't. There'd be a lot of areas that could purple the heck out of, that, that are areas to focus on or watch, right? But instead, it seems to be about evacuation routes. Which could already be seen, right? Like you have red lights, green, um, like stop lights, right? Why would they need them at stop lights? You already have the red, green, or yellow, right? That's already cycling. A lot of times they're not even right next to the road though. I don't know. To me, uh, I even though I feel like it seems sounds pretty whacked out, like to say it, but I to me it seems like those are to for something that's like a prototype of something, like where there's a lot of them that can go at just about anywhere in the world, right? to be able to localize to certain areas based upon where they end up approximately and just find the areas that they need to go to. And those would be like evacuation routes or important traffic points. If all that happens all at once when nobody's ready for it, I mean, it doesn't, I don't know, does that necessarily mean that it's doomsday or could that mean that people just can't leave their cities like all of a sudden? But what, what would the outcome be if people can't leave their cities? Is that just like if it's really bad economically or would that already just spell out doom to people anyway and would that just basically be really bad you know people can't leave <clears throat> I mean if it was just like absolutely destructive to like the road you know nearby or something like that like Russia recently, I guess, I saw a YouTube video. Sorry about the, the alarm. Um, I saw a YouTube video recently where Russia, I guess, bombed a road there in Russia. Okay, to the left, there's like a really deep blue light. This is Duchess Road, Duchess Drive. Oh, I think I was just taking right there. Actually, I think it is where I would need to take a right. So I'm going to back out of here. You know, that just happens to be right there, guys. That's kind of helpful to have a little light there, I guess. Like, they would actually be more useful, like, in this kind of situation, right? Instead of tucked away from the road sometimes. Or in the parking lot somewhere near. See that in the right? If you don't see it, there it is. This just happens to be a Duchess, guys. I was not even knowing about that. So this says Kings Lake here. Kings Lake Boulevard, I guess, is what I was on. Now I'm turning on to Duchess Drive. But I'm pretty sure this is the main road. This says Queens, it says Queens Park to the left on that little sign. This says Berkeley Drive here.
Wouldn't people like eventually kind of figure out though that those things hang out near purple lights? I guess maybe there'd be nothing they could do about it at that point, I guess. If they're not allowed to go past a certain zone. They want to build 15 minute cities in um, Europe, which, you know, I don't know if there's a canonized definition besides uh, more convenience for people getting around and getting to places they need to go like without having to go a long distance, you know, where they could use a bike even and get somewhere in 15 minutes, just about anything they need to do, which sounds like a good idea, but it disadvantages vehicles like gas vehicles, obviously. So I am at Boca Ciega. My instinct said take a right. Let's see. But from some of the stuff I've seen, people are gonna be fine for leaving certain zones in certain places, um, like certain kinds of 15 minute cities. Um, there are limitations, barricaded uh, roads, like where they would normally be able to just go right to a certain place where they can't anymore. They're in you know, places where they can get from one side of the city to the other. Instead, they gotta go all the way out to the edge and drive a, and basically gonna circle around it in some places. Um, it's actually kind of exactly the kind of stuff I would have expected if this kind of stuff is set up over here. Stuff like that. The question, I guess, is the, what's the what's the long-range plan with that then? What happens? Are people just all of a sudden not going to be allowed to leave their cities over there? The lights in the neighborhoods, you know, if you're in the neighborhood. What if it thinks you're trying to, like, shoot out one of the lights? They're going to, like, sit there and watch you in your neighborhood. Or they wouldn't want to focus on this, the road. What would it What would it be doing? Like in areas like Southeast Naples, if that's what it was. What if there's a power outage and those lights go off? Then what's the, the like patrol drone do or whatever? Is it just for like a one-time event? Like the more the more people who talk about this and document where these things are, the more answers there would be. And unfortunately, if you try to find them on YouTube, you're gonna run into a lot of newscasts, which I think themselves are very useful for wondering what what is going on they just can't say anything more than what they're told to say basically right or what they're given right they're not really it seems like they can't really give their opinion overtly but i think that it, it bleeds through in some of them some of those news guys if you listen to their tone and, and why they would say certain things the way they do and what just what they show But the more people who cared about it and wanted to talk about it, the more things could be eliminated as possibilities. Especially the earlier it happened. Because now at some point, what if a bunch of them were seated already and they're gonna pop up in the wrong places and not reveal the pattern even, if it's something that they decide they're not gonna do. See why it's really a good idea for a lot of people to look at it, like now, and for you to share that information make your observations, put them out there to compete with the, the load of all these newscasts. Because try finding a video like this. If you found it, I don't know how you found it. It'd be nice to, if you commented and tell me how you found it. Because um, to me, it's not easy to find these kinds of videos. You have to really search or it has to be really recent, basically. 
if it's not recent, if it was like months ago, it's going to almost be impossible to find if you don't know the title of the video. Whereas you can find the newscast very easily, right? And the more cons the more that like any kind of conspiracy theory like tries to uh, gain followers but doesn't focus on the actual observable facts, like where the lights are, stuff like that, uh, the less data we're going to really get out of it. It's just going to be what they can find online about it, which if you kind of look at Google, you can basically you can basically figure out they're just going to kind of see a lot of the same stuff. So they're just, what, come up with their own kind of ideas. If people start focusing on location, that's actually real data that would tell us something about it. And it seems like that's not happening much. And it's very hard to get people to care about it. Okay, I'm hoping... I might have gone in a little circle, but this says... Uh, I just don't remember this the drive being this long. Let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> if I switch to my map, this video ends. I want to kind of. I kind of want a better video app. And switch back and forth. I think the app is used for other things like watching what you're doing on your phone, snapshotting what you're doing on your phone, and so basically we just we kind of can just do what we can do on our phones. I, I bet our phones are capable of so damn much more and we can't really tap into that. It's just, it's like we're property. Our phones aren't even our own property really. If you have any thoughts on that, yeah, let me know what you think. Oh, I see purple lights to the left. Okay. I just saw some defective lights to the left, I think. Okay. Oh, this is Davis Boulevard. So I was wrong. What I told you guys was incorrect. It's just I couldn't see it from the, where I was. I just went in a circle, guys, and I found purple lights. Okay. So how to prove that? Let's see. Basically, got to park my car somewhere else. I don't think there are a lot of good parking spaces either. Let's see. Huh. Golf carts, sales, and services. But that sign says to the right, by the way. This says Winter Park. So I don't see any purple lights right now. I'm sure, I really see any lights on this side past. Um, just right by the wall, between the wall and the buildings on the right. Looks like they might be fixing a new construction here. Alright, so turning back onto Lakewood. Let's see if I can show you guys. Okay, so I just came going the other way on this, but I'm pretty sure I saw some defective lights here. There is at least like two of them, I think. Okay, right there. I, I'm gonna have to walk, I think, to see it. So let's uh, put this back on here. And just stop somewhere. Oh, I hate Florida, guys. I hate this. There's no shoulder to park on. I could park in the grass. I don't know. Maybe I don't know if that's I think I can do that. Alright. Circle and Lakewood Boulevard. I'm gonna take it right on the Lakewood Boulevard towards Davis Boulevard.
no resonating. Like, I don't know what that means. I don't know what the term resonating means. Is that like a homeowners association? Because I wouldn't be surprised. There'd be, there'd be a gate, right? See that sign? Hmm. It's safe, guys. You got like a gate, guys. You guys feel good? Like walled in. You can leave anytime you want, though. Yeah, that's a defective light, right? Where is it? Because there's another kind of purple light next to it. Well, that's really. If it is a purple light, they're making it look like it's not. Okay, actually, I don't think that is. I thought that that was a defective light, but that's not a defective light, I think. Um, I wonder if I'm allowed to walk in there. I don't see any other signs, I think so. Yes, that looks like a regular light. So they do. Yep. This is one. This hardly looks purple though. To me visually. Why is it? That doesn't even look like an LED light though. Oh, that's. Oh, I gotta look at this. But that looks like a defective light. It's just like an actual LED. Yeah, I think it's an L there, it's a group of LEDs in a bulb, dude. That's freaking weird, man. So that may that gives me more faith in the possibility that the other light that looks defective is actually defective light in a, a King's Highway. Let's oh, I see heterogeneity in there. Yeah, it's definitely LEDs, guys. Yeah, that's an LED. It's a group of LEDs next to each other. I don't know how to show that though. I don't know why they're carrying with me. Yep. It's heterogeneous. Some's blue and some's white. Okay, I don't want to film people here. But, okay. So that's what we have. We have one there, there, there. So some of these are purple. Yep. I'm going to pause this. Okay, I've walked further. I guess I asked somebody if this is a gated neighborhood and they said no. Okay, so we got more of these. Okay. It's kind of weird because on the map, these aren't necessarily equivalent to like a big LED street light, you know? Because there are smaller bundles of LEDs, so I don't know how to quantify this on a map, but I just kind of, for every one of them, I put the same size circle. But this would have a lot of them in it. In this area, guys. At Davis and Lakewood. There's even heterogeneity in that one light by itself, if you zoom in on it. It's more purple on the left side because the LEDs on that side are more defective. They're more defective ones on that side. But do you see how the distribution here, guys? It's like every few of them, maybe up to every five. Let's see, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, five. We have another one. 
it's like they're evenly kind of distributed not not evenly but with some attempt to spread them out or those are more advanced in their defectivity stage actually I gotta wonder though what kind of lights are in here and I see nothing but it's like a bulb almost that's interesting By the way, on that side, I don't see any. See, that's like a soft kind of color. I don't know how to show you, but it's almost like it might be a different kind of light in the white ones, which would be rather interesting. Okay, so this is, let's see what this is. This is Winter Park Boulevard. And that's Davis right there. Okay, so I've walked for a while. I don't know if I want to leave my car there for much longer. Let's see if I see anything that looks like a defective light. There's some heterogeneity, but these, oh, that might be mercury paper, really. But yeah, that's what we see here. Oh, I don't see any more defective ones. Actually, real quick, just because I could see if there are more looking down here, I'm gonna look. And I, I don't. By the way, looking across Davis over there, there is like a really yellow light right there. And I see uh, Gator, Golf, cars right there and tent world Oop. sorry tent world and let's see if i can actually see what that is on here something in naples garage something in naples yeah all right so and this says winter park iv or roman numeral four i'm not sure all right so that's all i'm going to do here on this video Hmm. Actually, I would like to count. I guess I probably, you can count them. I'm going to count them manually here without the camera. So I remember. So I'm going to stop this.